If I told you a live cat could be turned into a telephone, would you believe it? You better. Successful kitten transmissions were made in 1929, and believe it or not, it was no island of Dr. Moreau shenanigan. It was done in a lab by two Princeton researchers. Hold on to your scratching post because this story freaks me out. In 1929, Ernest Weaver and Charles Bray thought, hey, how about a cat telephone? Yeah, let's do it in the name of science. And then proceeded to remove part of a cat's skull along with most of its brain and attached an electrode to the animal's right auditory nerve and another to the cat's body. Those electrodes were hooked up to an amp and the signals were sent to a telephone receiver. To Ernie and Chuck's surprise, when they talked into the cat's ear, the sound would actually be heard in the receiver. It worked. The cat itself acted as the telephone's transmitting end. Their research states that speech was transmitted with great fidelity and was easily received. They even said it could actually be employed as a means of communication. Now, Salem and Bateman, if you boys are watching at home, those are my cat's BT dubs, it's time to go roll around in some catnip. Earmuffs. <laughs> The Princeton cat survived the first experiment, but Ernie and Chuck went for round two, deciding to kill the cat and try again. And that's how the scientific community learned that a dead cat can't be a telephone, but a live one can. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Lesson learned, I guess. Although certain aspects of the experiment were later disproven, it is believed that this insanity inspired research on cochlear implants, which also convert sound into electrical signals that stimulate the nerves to create a sense of hearing in deaf individuals. I'm Sabrina Seek, and I'll see you back here next week with more cool stuff and strange things.